Hello, welcome to One Arm Channel. Today we'll be doing settings for the steering wheel or carrix and it will be the non assist drifting. So firstly I'll show you the the steps that we'll be going through the for the settings. You go on, on one settings, so what I do is I use the gearbox as a manual, clutch as um automatic because I use the clutch as a handbrake and obviously you the string wheel assist you turn it off the contrast is that it doesn't really matter because we're using um string wheel um firstly so your for your main aim is to drift on 900 degree but first we'll start with 540 and then we go to 720 and then we go 900 degrees so the control vibrations is off the force the wheel force feedback you put it on five because if you do it one it just it's, it's so difficult basic you can't control the wheel does it automatically and everything so i keep it at 0 0.5 and the the steering dead zone is always obviously is zero and the rest is just one 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 all right and then i seen a couple of videos saying you have to do settings for the for the car so mines are just simple so i'll show you the rest so these are my settings for the car but it's not really matters whatever you do so the wheel these are the settings for the and the brake yeah I'm, I'm I'll be drifting with the drift mode but you can use it as an ultimate as well so hello all right first of all we're gonna see the 720 settings so 720 steering wheel angle and then we'll see how the 540 is as well so let's go right, first second gear try try going on on the third gear at the beginning because it will let you drift easier and then it will you can handle the steering wheel as well so the first aim is don't let the steering wheel don't hold it too much basically so when you go like that let it smooth and then catch it and then hold it back so this is what you do you hold it you let it and then you go back oh that was close so and then if you're losing the control just handbrake so handbrake and then control back handbrake control back and then you won't lose anything so handbrake control there you go so this out is it's not really that hard you just need to practice and then you can just drift along but don't focus on on 70 720 just aim it to 900 degrees the settings that's where you want to go that's what this um, this video is about so showing you how to improve yourself with the steering wheel so what we're gonna do is just handbrake let the wheel and catch it so we do again handbrake let it throttle and then control it it's not that hard at the beginning it will be hard for you but a couple times if you try it you'll get used to the point so what you do is just handbrake let it go and then control it and then this is how the 72 settings are and there's one more thing if you leave the control you'll lose it so this is how it is. so what you're gonna do is again press the total handbrake and little touches 
I've got the control back. So, handbrake, throttle. Yeah, with me, it's a bit more difficult because I'm using one arm. You need more control, but when you use your two hands, 100% it's much, much easier. So, what you do is handbrake, hold it, hold it, little toes, and then you got it. Alright, now let's try 540. Let's see how the. With 540, you can contro control the car much easier. You can stay on the track. So if you're if you bought the wheel and you can't drift, just try 540 and then go to 720 and then aim it to the 900 so what you do with this is just little touches and you're back to drifting so just little moves when you have the force feedback around 0 0.5 that's where you can feel the wheel as well so it helps you control the wheel and everything see with the 540 it's much much easy it's been a long time I didn't drift it 540 so I'm just having quite difficult times but other than that it just simple it's not that hard like I said you can control it a couple weeks if you do it every day that's what I did so I lost the control and then I pressed the handbrake and back to normal again so what I was saying is if you if you try a couple of weeks like every day you can go all the way to 900 that's what I did with one arm it was so difficult so what I did you just practice every day just cause, because of the COVID as well it was helping because I didn't have anything I was stuck at home so what I did just practice every minute I mean, everything is out there as well when you practice you can do it so you see and don't forget to just subscribe the channel as well and press that like button if you have any questions comment below the section and in the description section I have the discord server as well so if you would like to see more settings and livery designs just join our discord server I will be doing online decisions on carrots as well But again, see, it's easy. It's not that hard. You just, you just tap it. You have to control the car. But with Carrix, the the main, if you're having a steering wheel, you you gotta drift with no assist settings. Because with the normal assist, you just, if you turn the wheel to the left, the car's the car wheel turns right. So that's just looks funny. And if you're into other games like Falls or Assets of Corsa, they don't have any assist. You gotta learn that one. So this one is just helps you to learn the steering wheel and then you can move to other games as well. But character is improving itself every day. Like the new updates the settings so you see it's easy it's it's not that hard with this one with the steering wheel as well um, you can do 360s easier so so what you do you just go fast and then you turn and then you get back to second gear see So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I hope you all. <coughs> Sorry about that. i just getting the flu. So what I was saying is, I hope I helped you with the steering wheel, no assist settings. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe and watch my other videos as well. And press that like button. See you all. See you all later. Peace.